Uh, hey guys, uh, James Rosa here coming to you. Um, sitting here at my house today. Unfortunately, we've got a rain out day today, so I figured I'd just sit down here and make some videos for you guys. I, I know I promised I've been doing that, but I've been, forgive me, I've been a little busy lately. Um, today I wanted to talk about, one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, a video I actually watched a couple days ago by uh, Blake Alverson. Shout out, man. Um, was about uh, integrity in your lawn care and landscape business. Um, Keep in mind, I, I've been I've been in the business now for about 14 years. I, I know that seems hard to believe. I'm only 23 now, but um, I started when I was really really young, probably eight years old, pushing my dad's mower uh, handlebar, the smallest handlebar, because I was um, probably maybe two three feet tall at the time. But um, I wanted to um, kind of address some issues of integrity and doing basically doing what you say you're going to do. So what does that mean? It means um, if, if a customer asks you to do something, you know, it may be a small project, it may be a big project, do what you're going to say you're going to do, you know. If the project includes, you know, three yards of mulch, you know, three hostas you got to plant, three, three uh, emerald green boxwood shrubs, a few arborvitaes, um, edging of the beds, things like that, um, raking out of the dirt, just making it look really, really nice because they've, they've got a party coming up or something. Um, don't take shortcuts. I mean, even even if it seems, I know it sounds tempting, and believe me, I've been there. I when I started out solo, it was it was really really tough, and you know I just kept telling myself, you know, if I do if I do shortcuts, you know, where is that going to get me in life? Um, so just, just doing what you say you're going to do is very important, just because, like I said, even if it's, if it's a small project or even if it's a big project, it still makes the world a difference. Um, a lot of these. We have a we have a group of customers that I really don't think I would have gotten if I had just if I had taken shortcuts my entire business career, and I had um, sorry someone's driving out and dropping off a package here. Um, yeah, if I had taken shortcuts, I don't think I would have had a lot of these customers. You know, I think my customers would probably be consisting of you know people that owe me you know thousands of dollars. You know, people who don't really give a shit about quality, um, things like that, and aren't willing to pay for it. Whereas these customers I have now are, they live in a very, very wealthy neighborhood and they are not, they are not willing, they are not afraid to spend, you know, a decent amount of money to have their landscape looking really nice. And um, I think, I think it's due to just, you know, doing what I'm saying I'm going to do, you know, even if I'm backed up, you know, if we, we've had some years where it's rained just about every single day and the one perfect day that we have to mow, I'm going to spend it doing a landscape project I promised to a, a really good customer over a month ago. Um, and I honestly think that, you know, if you stick by these business principles, you will do well. Um, bear with me, it's not its not going to be an overnight thing that you're going to have these really nice customers, you know, with these giant acre estates. I mean, I, I, know, I know how a lot of you guys are feeling that um, when I was young, I was just starting out with my dad's push mower, and I, I kept telling myself, well, hell, I could go put door hangers on every one of these nice houses, and I'll have, you know, excuse me, I'll have, um, you know, 20, 25 of these, and I'll be doing pretty good my first year in business, you know. It's it's not like that at all, unfortunately. I mean, you got to take what you, take every job you can get, you know. I mean, as you, as you get older, as your business grows, you can kind of come to the point where you can, you know, pick and choose which jobs you want to do. Um, but my, my advice to someone starting out is just take what you can get. I know it, I know it sounds like a bad idea, but, um, you know, you'll have, you'll have those experiences. You know, I shouldn't have done, done that job. I should have bid more for this job. I should have bid more for the mulch or something like that. You, you'll have that. I mean, it's all part of the experience, you know. I wish there was a foolproof way of avoiding jobs like those, but, you know, it just, it just happens to the best of us. You know, it's happened to me. It's happened to a lot of my competitors. I imagine it's happened to a lot of you guys watching this right now. But um, um, I'm getting off topic here. Um, it, it all kind of, kind of comes back to a point of just doing what you say you're going to do. Um, another example of that is actually this weekend we, we have another – we've had another week where it's been pretty, pretty consistent rain – probably three out of the last five days this week, and the ground is still pretty wet. It rained pretty hard at about 6 o'clock this morning when I got up, and um, tomorrow, instead of going to mow, um, we get about 25 customers on our night, on our, what I refer to as the really, the high-end residential route, um, and 
few of these customers actually are responsible for the commercial properties we do snow removal at. So um, we're going to spend um, probably a half day doing a small planting and mulch project for a, a really good customer that's um, they're they're in this route actually. We, we we're going to be doing the mowing for them too that day because they're one of the nice like I said one of the nice high end residential accounts we take care of. But um, yeah, it just it just goes to saying what you're going to do. Even if you know you need to, you know you need to get something else done, just you know I don't care how long it takes. You know I'm gonna I'm gonna do this job right and I'm gonna do it right the first time and make sure they are 100% happy with everything before we leave and get ready to go mow everybody else and do everything else we got to do for the week and this weekend in particular. So, um, yeah, I won't make this video too long. So, um, if you guys have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, yeah, love seeing all your guys' stuff out there, and I, I'm kind of new to the community, so I'll be making kind of an introduction video just to let you know who I am and uh, what my business is about. So, thanks, guys.